So, hello again, Amisai. Magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat, Amisay. Continuation ito ng ating live kanina, no? One hundred question pa tayo. Sociology of crimes, fifty question, and correctional administration, fifty questions. Antay lang tayo ng viewers bago tayo magsimula. Kumusta ang inyong tanghalian? Medyo maliwanag dito sa aking uh, pwesto. Hindi kasi pwede sa loob guys kasi walang signal sa loob ng bahay namin. <clears throat> so dito tayo sa labas. Good afternoon mga, amis, mga amikos. Sociology of Crimes and Ethics Ito ay 15% ng ating board exam Okay, sana Sige, sige. Icebreaker daw. <clears throat> sige. Uh, sabi ni attorney JMF, nasaan daw ako? Nandito ako ngayon sa province namin, sa General Luna, Quezon. Nandito ako nabuta ng lockdown. So, hanggat hindi natatapos ang lockdown, dito muna tayo maninirahan. Hindi tayo makapag- apply ginagawa ko dito minsan uh, nagtatanim ano pansamantal nagagarden ako kunwari pero kadalasan walang gawa dahil sa ating ECQ hindi makalabas ng bahay Tsaka wala ka namang gagalaan dito sa probinsya. <laughs> wala ditong malls. No? Mas maganda kung icebreaker sabi ni attorney <laughs> JMF. Hintay lang tayo ng viewers. Ano? Sa mga 20 viewers siguro. Simula na tayo. Shares nyo na guys. Okay, alatin na lang. Good afternoon, Irish May. Kimado. Amigos. Kung marunong lang akong kumanta, kakantahan ko muna kayo eh. So, sintunado tayo eh. <clears throat> so 
Siguro it will take 2 to 3 hours pa bago matapos natin itong sociology of uh, crimes and ethics and ano correctional administration. Kanina pala doon sa aking unang ano live sinasabi ko sa F stop na foot stop. Foot stop ako ng foot stop. Mali po yun. Anong F stop po yun? F stop. Hindi foot stop. Sorry. Wala pong part ng camera na ganun. Ano? F stop yun. F stop. Ay, konti na lang. <coughs> Good afternoon, Joseph Maureen. Hello, Amicus. By the way, ano nga pala yung tinatawag na Amicus, Amicus, Amicus Corey ba yun? Friends of Court, ano? Amicus Corey. Okay, apat na lang at ay ready to go na. Bank robbers who will kill some individual within the bank flee with hostages and kill a number of people while in flight Diving a case or diving a chase would be an example of what kind of murder? Multiple murder, B mass murder, C spree murder, and D serial murder. So alamin natin yung sagot. Ang sagot natin yan ay spree murder. Ano ba yung spree murder? Ito yung killing of two or more pers. Killing of two. I mean, killing in two or more location with almost no time of break. Between, uh, between the killing. Ano? So, pumatay ka ng tao sa tour na example natin. Katulad nito sa example natin, yung mga robbers daw na pumatay ng individual sa bank. And then, habang tumataka sila, no? may kasama silang hostage, habang tumataka sila, uh, nakapatay pa sila sa pagtakas nila. Habang hinuhuli sila. So, it would be an example of spree murder. Ano naman yung multi, uh, ano, yung mass murder and serial murder? Okay, doon muna tayo sa serial murder. Yung serial murder, ito yung killing in three or more uh, a killing of uh, three or more uh, person, ano? Or uh, three and more location pala, sorry. Three or location with time interval. So, ang pinagkaiba niya sa spree murder, yung serial murder, pumapatay yung, ano dito, yung offender dito, with time interval. So, halimbawa, pumatay siya noong uh, month ng uh, November. Tapos, susunod na buwan, pumatay ulit siya. And then, pangalawang buwan, pumatay ulit. Ano? So, ganun yun. So, sa mass murder naman, yung mass murder, killing of uh, four or more victims in or at one location with no uh, with one event i mean killing of uh, more than uh, more than four victims in one location or with one event so ano ano example niyan uh, isang uh, sabi natin isang pamilya pinatay ano ng isang suspect ng isang offender apat o lima sila sa pamilya. So, magiging ano yun? Anong klase ng murder yun? Mass murder. Spray murder, mayroong time, uh, walang time interval. Kung patay ka ng tao, more than one person, ano, in different location, without time interval. Yung serial murder, mayroong time interval. So, ano ba, isang buwan, isang linggo. Okay? Mass murder naman, killing of four, oh, more than four person, in one 
location or one event. Okay? Number two. District, uh, uh, District 6 of Quezon City has a population of 275,000 uh, and a crime volume of 6,217. What is the crime rate? So, inahanap natin dito yung crime rate. Ano nga pala ang formula ng crime rate? Para makuha mo ang crime rate ng isang lugar, kailangan mong uh, i-divide yung crime reported sa total population ng isang lugar. So in this case, i-divide natin yung 6,217 sa population na 275,000. No. At pagka nakuha mo yung result doon, ita-times mo siya sa 100,000. And ang magiging sagot noon ang ating crime rate. So dito sa number 2, nito ay letter D. 44.2 ang kanyang crime rate. Okay? Next. Okay. Police Station 4 of Manila Police District received a total of 70 index crime for a month uh, for the month of August and 45 of which were filed in court. So out of 70, no, 45 ang ang na-filed sa court. Which of the following uh, which, which of the following is its crime solution efficiency? So, ang hinahanap natin ay crime solution efficiency. Para makuha mo yung crime solution efficiency, yung ating yung ating total uh, total ng solved na cases, kung baga yung ating uh, na-report o naipasa sa court, ano, yung na-filed sa court, ay ating i-divide naman sa uh, total volume of crime o crime volume. So, 45, i-divide mo siya sa 70. Ang, ma ang magiging sagot nun, ita-times mo sa 100 para makuha mo yung percentage. And ang sagot sa number 2i letter B. 64.3 So, para, para makuha mo yung, ano, yung crime solution efficiency, i-divide mo yung solved uh, cases sa kanyang crime volume tapos ita times mo sa 100 Ayan, para makuha mo yung percentage number 4 Ramon Sanchez was convicted for a crime uh, for the crime of kidnapping by uh, regional trial court judge Jojo Santos not satisfied with the decision the former appealed his case in the court of appeals and thereafter, to the Supreme Court. Nasa Supreme Court na yung ano, kaso. Which both affirmed the decision of the court akuo. Where can he appeal again his case to give the chance of overturning the decision? So, President, pwede mo ba siyang i-appeal sa President? Sa National Prosecution, Prosecution Service? Sa Senate? So, ang sagot is, neither of the above. So, ang court, ang Supreme Court, ang tinatawag natin Court of Last Resort. Ano? Kapag nasa Supreme Court na ang kaso, wala ka nang pwedeng pag-apilan. Pinakamataas na yan, highest court na yan. Pwede kang magpasa ng ano, ng motion for reconsideration or new trial depende sa case na meron ka. Ano? Number five. During trial, of a criminal case it is the prosecutor who directs the prosecution of an offense of the offense and he or she performs it on the behalf of the state once a case is elevated to the court of appeals who represent the state in the prosecution of the offense so kapag daw sa ang ang criminal daw ang criminal case daw ay nirepresent ng prosecution uh, prosecutor Anong nirepresent ng prosecutor? Ang state. Ang ating states. Ano? Pero kapag ka nasa court of appeals na, sino na yung nirepresent? Si solicitor general. Si solicitor general ay ang principal law officer and legal defender ng Pilipinas. So, kapag nasa court of appeals na, tandaan si solicitor general.
Number six. Miss Leia was underweight when she was issued temporary appointment. What will happen to her if she does not gain the required weight after six months from her appointment? So ito ay sa pag-apply sa PNP. Ano? So yun sabi, si Miss Leia daw was underweight. Mapayat when she was issued a temporary appointment. What will happen to her if she does not gain the required weight after 6 months? So, kailangan tumaba siya within 6 months. Pag hindi, ano mangyari? She will be suspended from service. She will be dismissed from service. She will be, uh, she will be charged for violation of recruitment policy or D, she will be reassigned. The answer in this question is letter B. She will uh, be dismissed from service. Number seven. An old woman approached Police Corporal Guerrero asking the police officer to run after the unidentified young man who allegedly snatched her mobile phone. Police Corporal Guerrero declined claiming that, he, uh, claiming that the man was already a block away from them and besides the police officers alleged that he is rushing home for argue, uh, urgent matter. The officer's refusal to help the old woman is best illustrate as, sinasabi nga natin kanina is, hindi mo paggawa ng iyong tungkulin, ay non-fessance. Ginawa mo yung tungkulin mo, pero in proper, misfessance. At malfessance naman kapag gumawa ka ng isang bagay na hindi mo dapat gawin sa trabaho mo. Okay, so hindi niya paggawa ng ano, hindi niya paggawa ng uh, trabaho niya. Manifestance, hindi niya paghabol dun sa uh, sa suspect. Ano? Okay. Number eight. It is a term used to describe a clinical condition among young children who have received non-accidental, inexcusable violence or injury ranging from minimal to severe or fatal trauma in the hands uh, in the hands of adult in the position of trust, generally a parent or guardian. So, ito yung tinatawag nating battered child syndrome. Yan. Yan yung term. Sa clinical condition na yun. Battered child syndrome. Ano naman yung battered woman syndrome? Yung battered woman syndrome, ito, ito yung scientific, uh, scientifically defined pattern of psychological and behavioral symptoms na nakikita sa mga kababaihan uh, in ano na, na binubugbog o bin, uh, in living uh, living battering reaction I mean nakatira siya sa I mean living in a relationship na uh, nakakarana siya ng uh, battering as a, as a result of cumulative abuse ano ba yung battering yung pag, pananakit ng kanyang partner so itong battered woman uh, battered woman syndrome na ito uh, mayroon itong cycle ano at saka mayroon itong mga stage kailangan uh, kailangan dumaan muna ng at least twice dun sa cycle yung isang woman para masabing siya ay isang battered woman so ano ba yung cycle na yun ano ba yung stage nun or phase nun yung una tension building tension building phase tatalo ano Tapos, acute battering incident. Magkasakitan. O sinaktan yung babae. And then, yung pangatlo, yung tranquil or loving pace again. So, unang ulit nun, hindi pa siya battered woman. Unang cycle nun. Pero kapag ka na ulit ulit yun, second cycle, doon pa lang siya uh, pwede matawag na battered woman. Ano ngayon ang kagandahan pagka tinawag kang battered woman? Anong, ano nun, anong purpose nun? Kapag ka... Uh, pinatay ng uh, kapag sinaktan or pinatay ng babaeng battered woman ng kanyang partner hindi siya uh, kahit walang ano kahit walang element ng self defense ano em, ay ano may exempt pa rin siya sa criminal liability dahil dun sa syndrome na yon or dun sa <clears throat> sakit na yon sa condition na yon number 9 Justin, a highly intelligent but quite introverted and withdrawn 33-year-old computer analyst, was seen 
and reported to have hard time in making friends because he does not know what to say in conversation and he was very anxious and embarrassed when when someone tries to talk with him he is happiest when he is alone what kind of personality billy is experiencing ito by avoidant personality disorder to by schizoid personality antisocial personality or schizotypal personality <clears throat> simulan natin sa sagot ang schizoid uh, schizoid uh, personality disorder ano sabi diyan inability to form social relationship ano or lack of interest in doing so so yun yung mga tinatawag nating loners yung mga schizoid so wala silang ano wala silang interest na makipag uh, socialize ano mas gusto nila yung uh, nag-iisa sila solo sila sa buhay so ina yung mga schizoid yun yung tinatawag nating schizoid personality disorder ano naman yung avoidant personality yung avoidant personality <clears throat> yan yung hypersensitivity to rejection person reluctant to enter into social uh, inter, uh, interaction So nangyari yung taong yon yung may avoidant personality disorder ayaw niya nang nare-reject siya o kaya sobrang sensitive niya sa sa rejection. Kaya mas pinipili na lang niya na hindi makipag-interact sa ibang tao. So basta tandaan mo lang pagka avoidant avoidant personality uh, sensitive sila sa rejection. Yung antisocial personality disorder yan naman yung mga person na mayroong uh, kumbaga ang kanilang ano kanilang behavior uh, binabayolate nila yung laws and rights ng ibang tao sila ay walang remorse ano and loyalty to other so wala silang pakialam sa iba kahit na kahit na masira yung karapatan ng iba kahit na matapakan ang karapatan ng iba wala silang pakialam so lack of consideration for other will being so yan ang antisocial uh, personality disorder How about schizotypal personality disorder? Schizotypal, oversensitivity, avoidance of communication din. And ang pinagkaiba nila dito sa schizoid at schizo, uh, schizotypal, yung schizotypal mayroon siyang uh, superstitious uh, belief. Ano, may mga paniniwala siya na uh, kakaiba yung antisocial. So naniniwala siya siguro na uh, sa mga Sabihin natin sa encantado, ano? So, mayroon siyang uh, superstitious belief. <clears throat> so, may kaibigan siya, kunwari, hindi nakikita ng iba. Pero yung antisocial and, uh, I mean, yung schizotypal and schizoid, pareha silang uh, gustong mapag-isa. Okay, number 10. A direct casual link between media violence and increased aggressiveness on the part of the viewer is difficult to prove. However, the evidence of a relationship between TV violence and later aggressiveness is quite strong. Among the following statement, which is most log logically correct? Tingnan natin. Si, uh, letter A. The boy is living in fantasy world after watching Robocop. So, hindi naman yung violence, ano? Hindi naman yung aggressiveness. So, hindi. Watching Robocop influence prostitution. So, hindi rin yung aggressiveness and violence. So, hindi yan logically correct. The boy fired a real gun against his father as an influence of the movie Robocop. Yan, yan ang sagot dyan. Letter C. Okay. 11. According to this jury, uh, intelligence cues and... Uh, quotient or yung ating IQ is primarily sociological daw. Primarily sociological and partially biological and not cause of delinquency. So sinasabi na daw na sinasabi daw nitong theory na ito, yung IQ is ay primary sociological. Kung ano, ba, kung ano yung behavior natin, kung ano yung intelligence natin, uh, primarily sociological, you know, kung baga nakukuha natin sa pag-socialize. Through relationship, ayan, pero, and sabi niya, partially biological and not cause of delinquency. So, mas 
pinapaniwala nitong theory na ito na yung sociological uh, aspect ang nagkukos ng delinquency. Ito by behavioral theory, cognitive theory, nature theory, and nurture theory. The answer in, this, in that question is letter D, nurture theory. Ang rival niyan ay yung nature theory. Ang sabi naman ng nature theory, uh, ang behavior ng tao, tao ng tao or intelligence ng tao ay um, ay may mas malaking uh, percentage ano, na nakuha sa ating biological o sa ating uh, dito. genetic inheritance no? or biological factors. Yun yung nasa nature theory. So, ibig sabihin yung kung bakit nag yung delinquency yung bata eh dahil namamana sa mga magulang so yun yung ibig sabihin ng nature theory <clears throat> kung ano yung behavior ng bata ah, dahil yun sa biological factors o na inherit niya sa kanyang mga magulang ano naman yung behavioral theory and cognitive theory yung cognitive theory be, be, uh, ano yun based on uh, mental thoughts process that alter the the person ano a person behavior. Sabi naman ng behaviorism, uh, ito ay nagdi-deal sa ano, sa actions of people based on external environment or external stimulus. So, tatandaan lang natin sa behavioral and cognitive, yung cognitive pinapaniwalaan na uh, yung ating ano, yung ating kaya nagkakaroon ng ano kaya nakakagawa ng behavior na masama yung ating uh, tao or yung ating person dahil sa uh, mental thoughts no hindi to naman sa kabila sa behavioral behaviorism ay sa behavior factor or sa external stimulus well urban sociologist who pioneered research on social ecology of the city who in, uh, contended that social forces operating in areas create criminal inter interaction. So sabi ng mga sociologists na ito, yun daw uh, social forces, ano? Mayroon daw mayroon daw contribution yung social uh, social factors. Kaya nakaka kaya nakakomit ang isang tao ng uh, criminal offense. Sino may sabi niyan? Anong ano yan? School yan? Cartographic School, Chicago School, Conflict Criminology, or Radical Criminology. The answer in this question is the Chicago School of Thought, the Chicago School of Thought in Criminology. <clears throat> so, isa sa pinaka uh, uh, example ng kanilang theory ng mga ng ano ng Chicago School of Thought ay yung tinatawag na social disorganization theory. So, sinasabi nga nila na social factors nga daw ang dahilan kaya nakakakomit ng kayo isang tao. So, yung social disorganization theory, sinasabi doon na kapag ka ang isang lugar ano, ay may iba't ibang culture, iba-ibang beliefs, iba-ibang mga panipaniniwala, and siksikan, magulo. Uh, ang tendency nun, hindi sila magkakaroon ng, ano, ng harmony. So, dahil doon, nakakakumit sila ng uh, crime. Social disorganization theory. Like, for example, sa mga sa mga ano, sa mga squatter area. Uh, ano naman sabi ng ano, ng cartographic school? Ang cartographic school, nag-focus sila sa social condition as relative to crime causation. Yung relationship between the crime and the physical environment. So, itong cartographic school nakafocus lang siya sa location. So kung halimbawa sa mga squatter area, mas madami daw nakukumit na crime doon kesa sa mga uh, urbanized uh, area, ano? Sa mas uh, sabi natin mas ano, mas mayaman na uh, part ng isang siyudad. <clears throat> Number 13. What is the theory? What is this theory that tumors and seizures have been associated with aggression and violent behavior? So, yung theory na yun ay nagpipertain sa brain lesion uh, theory. 
brain lesion theory. 14. Miss Mangagancho is a skilled woman in making deception through verbal communication. She had committed several staffa to several persons through illegal recruitment. What crime according to result did she commit? So according to result, what crime according to result did she commit? Dalawa lang yun. Uh, extinctive or acquisitive? The answer is acquisitive. May na-acquire siyang uh, something ano, sa kanyang uh, sa kanyang ano, sa kanyang sa offended party. Pagka extensive, mayroon destruction or um, destruction of life, ano? Pag extensive. Pag acquisitive, may na acquire kang bagay or materials sa ginawan mo ng crime. <clears throat> 15. Murder cases numbered 180 in 2017. And 220 naman noong 2018. The crime rate increased how many percentage? So, hinahanap dito yung pagtaas o yung percentage na pagtaas ng isang ng, ano, ng crime rate. So, para makuha mo yung percentage niyan, yung 220 ima-minus mo sa 180. Dilalabas doon ay 40. Yung 40 ay Kung ikakumpit natin, 22.2% ng 180. So, ang sagot dito ay letter C. Nagdagdaga ng 22.2% ang crime rate nung isang lugar na yun. Nung murder cases na yun. Sa isang lugar. 16. The Lupon Tagapamayapa shall be composed of Barangay Chairman as Chairman of the Lupon and the Barangay Secretary as Secretary of the Lupon and other members who shall be okay so that is uh, not more uh, not less than 10 but but not more than 20 letter D so yan yung Lupon Tagapamayapa kinukumpo siya ng Chairman as a Chairman and Secretary Barangay Secretary as Secretary tapos yung not less than 10 but not more than 20 person. Yun naman ang ating uh, pangkat tagapagkasundo, mayroon lang tatlong membro yun. Yung barangay chairman, as chairman, barangay secretary, as secretary, at saka isang tao na pinili sa members ng lupon tagapamayapa. Dun sa not less than 10 o but not more than 20 person na yun. <clears throat> Pipili ng isa doon para maging membro ng pangkat tagapagkasundo. Ano ba yung mga yan? Ano ba yan? Yan ay nasa Republic Acts uh, 7160 or Local Government Code. No? <clears throat> Ayun. Yan yung amicable settlement sa ating barangay. Nakapag uh, madaming ano yan, madaming elements yan. Pero isang tatandaan ko kapag uh, nat not more than one year ano yung parusa or penalty kailangan mo nang ayusin sa parangga yung uh, dispute number 17 during labor disputes strikes or rallies members of peacekeeping detail shall maintain themselves outside the blank radius from the picket line so pagka mayroong rallies, mayroong strikes ang mga peacekeepers or yung ating mga kapulisan, kailangan nila nilang dumistan siya ng 50 meters, ano, 50 meters from the radius of the picket line. Okay. 18. Mr. and Mrs. Cruz, a poor couple with 10 children planned to sell their youngest child to a rich childless relative in order to give him a good future. What crime will you charge the couple? Basahin natin mabuti. Mr. and Mrs. Cruz, a poor couple, couple sorry, with 10 children, planned to sell their youngest child to rich childless relative in order to give him a good future. What, what crime will you charge the couple? Plinano pa lang, ano? May crime na kaya yun? So, the answer is letter 
D. No crime is committed. Nineteen. <clears throat> Being an orphan who want a mad roams the street 24 hours a day with no place to go, surviving on foods given by the kind-hearted people with no one to supervise him at his young age of six. How do you categorize Juan? Si, si Juan ay kinakategorize as dependent child letter B. <clears throat> Bakit? Siya ay uh, nakadepende, ano, nakadepende sa mga taong magbibigay sa kanya ng Ah, uh, pagkain. Wala siyang tirahan. Um, walang nag-guide sa kanya, walang nagsusupervise sa kanya. So, nakadepende siya sa kung sino lang yung tutulong sa kanya. So, ang tawag sa kanya ay dependent child. Ano naman yung abandoned child? Yung abandoned child, yun naman yung mga children, ano, yung mga bata na walang proper parental care or guardianship. Okay? When the parents or guardian deserted him or her for a period of at least 6 continuous month dati pero ngayon ay 3 continuous month na lang so pag wala kayo nakitang 6 continuous month ah, 3 continuous month pagka naman nagkasabay yung 6 continuous month at saka 3 continuous month ah, piliin mo yung 3 continuous month or 3 months kasi yun yung ah, bago ano <clears throat> ano naman yung mga neglected child mga neglected child naman when the basic needs, ano, yung mga basic uh, needs ng isang children ay deliberately unattended or inadequately attended. So, ibig sabihin, kung pinabayaan mo yung bata na uh, bigay yung mga basic needs niya, ibig sabihin, neglected child yung bata. Or, kung hindi mo naman kayang tustusan o hindi mo kayang sapatan yung mga basic needs ng bata. So, ina I mean, sinusuportahan mo nga yung bata pero inadequate inadikit yung pagsuporta mo. So, pwede siyang tawaging neglected children. Saksa ko lang yung ating laptop. Lalabot. So, guys, wait lang. Okay. Number 20. Number 20. What do you call the type of conflict which occurs when there is an uh, when there is an attraction to the to an object or state of affairs at the same time repulsion towards the uh, towards something associated with it. Ulit. What do you call the type of conflict which occurs when there is an attraction to an object or state of affairs at the same time repulsion towards something associated with it? So itong mga ito ay uri ng uh, conflict sa frustration. Ano? <clears throat> Yung approach, approach, approach avoidance and avoidance, ah, uh, avoidance, avoidance. Yan. So what is the answer? Mayroon daw positive, mayroon daw attraction eh. Pero mayroon din namang negative sa kanyang uh, may, may may kasamang negative yung mga positive attraction. Ibig sabihin yung conflict na yun ay approach avoidance. Approach avoidance letter C. Ano yung example niyan? <clears throat> approach avoidance. Abigyan ko kayo ng example. Malaking sahod. Ano, may malaking sahod pero hindi mo gusto yung trabaho. So, positive yung... May, may positive pero mayroon ding negative na naka-associate dun sa, uh, sa stage or uh, object na yun. Ano naman ang example ng approach-approach? So, parehas positive. Halimbawa, trip to Japan or 100,000 pesos. So, mamili ka sa dalawa. So, parehas positive pero kailangan mo pa rin. May conflict pa rin. And, ano ba, avoidance, avoidance. Ito naman, parehas negative yung pamimilyan mo. Kahit alin ang piliin mo, may negative pa rin lalabas. O mayroon pa rin negative na associated dun sa pipiliin mo. Halimbawa, maghuhugas ka ng pinggan o maglalaba ng labahan. So, parehas silang avoidance, avoidance. 21. 
Mr. Nobita, a person working in funeral parlor, dreams of having sexual intercourse with a corpse. What types of sexual deviation, uh, devi deviation did he commit? Tinatanong kung anong sexual deviation yung kinumit niya. Pero ang sabi, no, sa tanong, si Mr. Nobita ay nangangarap pa lamang na magkaroon ng, habi, uh, ng sexual intercourse sa bangkay or sa corpse. So, wala siyang deviation na nakumit or sexual deviation na nakumit. So, letter A. Bestiality, pakipagtalik yan sa hayop, pedophile, uh, matandang mahilig sa bata, ano? necropilia. Ayan yung makukumit sana ni Mr. Nobita kung uh, tinuloy niya yung kanyang pangarap, yung kanyang plano. Ano? Okay, number 22. Which of the following is considered as mortal sin in hostage situation? Ano daw yung mortal sin sa hostage situation? A. Giving all the demands of the hostage taker. B. Receiving and bluffing the hostage taker. C. Saying no to the demands of the hostage taker. And letter D. Acting that would prejudice the lives of the hostages. Although lahat ng mga yan ay mga hindi mo dapat gawin ano during uh, hostage situation pero ang pinakang mortal sin diyan na yung letter C saying no to the demands of the hostage taker 23 Police senior superintendent Archie is a highest ranking PNP officer who first arrived in hostage taking incident as a rule he serves now as ground commander on the same crisis. Having decided to conduct hostage rescue operations, the objectives are follows except one. So, ano mga objectives? Number one, hostage takers come to the fold of the law by surrendering or be incapable of causing harm. So, isa sa mga objectives natin. Ensure that the hostage are safe or unharmed and set free. C. Ensure that the hostage be set free by yielding to the demands of the hostage taker. And letter D. Hostage taker desist from his trust. So, ang sabi dito ay letter C. Ensure that the hostage be set free by yielding to the demands of the hostage taker. Sabi nga natin kanina, ang mortal sin ay yung uh, saying no. Ay ka kung i-yield mo yung demand ng hostage taker, takers. Uh, magkakaroon lalo ng conflict yan. So, ito yung hindi natin objectives. So, so umuho ka ng umuho kahit hindi mo uh, may bibigay yung isang bagay. Ano? Kahit maaari. Magpalasot ka na lamang. Number 24. What do you call the unconscious wish for death in, in psychoanalytic theory? Lupus, animus, tanatus, or eros? Answer is tanatus. Yun yung that wish. Yung eros naman is love or uh, wish of life. Huh? Eros. 25. Nadine Lostre uh, Lostre charged James Reed for rape. After the trial, the RTC convicted him to suffer 20 years of imprisonment. Not satisfied with the decision, he appealed his case to the Court of Appeals. In this case, James Reed is the appellant and the dean is the appellee. <clears throat> Letter C. 26. Mr. Dima, uh, Dimaano is an employee of Mindoro State University and was dismissed by his employer for accidentally touched the sexual part of Mr. Uh, Miss Sunshine, a student of the said university. Upon reaching home, his pregnant live-in partner, Chichai, nagged and affronted him about money for her checkup. Due to his dismissal, nagging and affronting of his, uh, his live-in partner, he struck the latter with his fist and the latter fell to the ground. Immediately thereafter, Chichai and her unborn baby died as a result thereof. Mr. Dimaano is said to be what kind of criminal? Ordinary criminal, fashion criminal, accidental criminal, or acute criminal. 
siya ay isang acute criminal. Ano ba yung acute criminal? Nakakumit ng crime by impulse of um, of passion. Ano? <clears throat> yun yun. Nakakumit ka lang ng crime dahil sa impulse of nagalit uh, ka or passion. Yung ordinary criminal, yan naman yung lowest uh, lowest uh, ano yan, form of criminal. Kasi meron pang uh, organized criminal at saka professional criminal. So, tatlo yan. Organized, uh, ordinary criminal, uh, organized criminal and professional uh, professional criminals. Ordinary criminal ay yung mga uh, lowest form ng criminal. So, sila yung mga normal criminal lang. <clears throat> Twenty-seven. Okay, mga baba. Lupin, Guku, and Naruto are a group of robbers. One night, at about 12 o'clock in the midnight, armed with 45 calibers and bolos, they robbed the house of Piccolo, a Filipino-Japanese businessman, in a desolate place where the latter, his wife, and four daughters were living. Before the robbers ransacking the valuable things, they shot Mr. Opicolo. While on the process of ransacking the house, Lupin noticed one of the daughters of the former was running and trying to get away. Immediately thereafter, she was, she was caught, or she was caught uh, by, Lupin and the, by Lupin in a ticket distant from the house. Before bringing back the daughter of the, uh, I mean, before the uh, before bringing back the daughter to the house she was raped first and upon seeing by his conspirators Goku and Naruto immediately raped the two daughters of Mr. Piccolo thereafter the robbers killed the three daughters and burned the house in order to hide house or in order to hide the evidence of their criminal activities and immediately carted away the valuable belongings of the house according to criminal specified form of deeds this group of robbers are categorized as habitual criminals organized criminals situational criminals or professional criminals ina categorize sila as professional criminals so meron silang high degree of skills ano may high, high degree of skill tapos ginagamit nila yung uh, i mean uh, professional nila yung crime, pag-commit ng crime. So, sila ay mga professional criminals. Yung organized criminals, yan yung may mga organization. Like, for example, <clears throat> Yakuza, ano? Yan, organized criminals yan. 28. This tour explain how criminal careers form based on destructive social interaction and encounters from society when significant members of the society brand them as such and they accept those tags as personal eccentricity ulitin natin ang tanong this truly explains how social theory or social reaction theory social reaction theory kasi yung sabi ng social reaction theory kapag ka ang isang tao daw ano? halimbawa sa bata kapag uh, nakagawa sila ng mali at ang mga magulang ay patawa-tawa pa, tumatawa pa sa nagawa ng alin isang tao, ng, ng bata o ng anak nila. Iisipin ng bata yun na tama yung ginagawa nila, okay yung ginagawa nila. At dahil doon, naman sa labeling theory, ang labeling mo as such. At kapag ka inaccept nila yun, ang sinabi. Bird 8. Okay, next. Which among the following schools of thoughts in criminology Which among the following schools of thoughts in criminology states that character not free will nor determinism is the source of criminality So sabi ng school of thoughts na ito pala sorry in criminology classical yung determinism ay positivist so yung character ng tao positive if in case the motive of criminal act is based upon stress hassles and interpersonal relations, then the most applicable theory would be anomie theory, theological theory, 
differential association theory or strain theory. The answer is theory. Merong uh, blockage of the goal. Ano? Merong stress, may, may interpersonal relation. Hindi niya, hindi niya makakas. Uh, hindi niya makuha yung goal niya. Nagkakaroon ng strain, uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, sabi na natin na limbawa, yung isang tao gusto niya ipagamot yung kanyang yun yung, black, uh, yun yung black, black age of the goal. Wala siyang pera. So, anong gagawin niya? Mapipilitan siyang gumawa ng crime para lang maisalbay ng kanyang anak. So, yun yung sinasabi natin strain theory. Ano naman yung anomie theory? Ano may theory sinasabing ang kawalan ng social norms ano sa isang lugar ang nag uh, pro-produce o nag uh, ang lason para ang tao ay makakumit ng crime. Sabi naman sa differential association theory kapag kang isang tao na pasama sa isang grupo ng uh, tao din halimbawa sa isang halimbawa, isang tao na mabuti na pasama sa grupo ng tao na masasama. Maaaring uh, ma-influensyahan siya ng mga masasamang tao na yun at uh, tuluyan na siyang makakumit ng crime. Halimbawa, isa kang uh, taga-probinsya, lumipat ka ng Manila sa squatter ka na pupunta, magulo. So, ma-adapt ma ma mo, mo yung buhay nila doon hanggang sa maging ano ka na rin, maging katulad ka na rin nila. So, kung nakakukumit sila ng crime, Patira. Ito yung sinasabi sa social association, uh, differential association theory ni Edwin Sutherland. <clears throat> 31. First with Diana. Thereafter, he stabbed her 50 times with an 8 inches knife. But the acts of stabbing were not premeditated with deliberate thinking, but rather product of passion to kill. Dante in this case is or acute criminal. So dahil daw sa passion ano? Dahil daw sa passion to kill. And ginawa niya yan without uh, deliberate thinking. So ito ay isang acute criminal. Chronic criminal mayroong uh, deliberate thinking ano? <clears throat> 32 they serve as the conciliation panel consisting of three members. So ito yung ating pangka at tagapa mayapa. Yung tag lupong tagapagkasundo, yun yung competition for limited power and resources. Class conflict produces crimes. Ecological forces, sociological uh, socialization forces, multiple forces, or economic and political forces. So, ang sabi daw, yung crime daw is a function of competition for limited power and resources. Limited power, ibig sabihin, political forces on, uh, and resources sa economic. So, letter D. 34. This theory started around the year 18. Uh, 10 whose core ideas is the fact that mental and uh, degenerance, uh, de degeneracy degeneracies are the causes of crime sabi? this jury started around the year 1810 whose core ideas is the fact that mental and degeneracies are causes of crime yun daw pag-iisip at the general the generalis ang ah, nagkokos ng crime. Anong theory yun? Hindi yung classical kasi hindi lang classical. Marxist Marxist theorist ay eh, about sa sa uh, manigin yan. Okay. Sociological theory uh, sa sosyo, sa ano yan sa social factor yan sa pakikisalamuan ng tao so ang sagot dito ay letter C positivist theory dahil sa mental and 
degeneracies ng isang tao kaya nakakakos ng crimes. 35. What do you call the theory in the causes of crimes which states that a crime may be caused by one or more factors while in the other instances caused by another set of factors? Sabi, crimes which which states that a crime is caused by another set of factors. So yun tinatawag nating eclectic theory or mixed theory. No? Nakukumit ang crime dahil uh, nakakumit ng crime because of one or more factors. Okay? This and uniform members of the PDP. So, saan tayo na wala? Okay. So, ayan. Tayo natin. By that is inherent. Uh, yun ang nag ng violation ng law. Kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung ugali ng isang ng magulang, ano, nakukuha ng mga anak niya o mga offspring niya. Yun yung sabi sa bi biogenic approach. <clears throat> Which is uh, dun kaya nakakumit ng crime. Pag sinabi naman psychogenic approach about yung psychological pathology of the delinquent. Pag sociology, uh, sociogenic approach Meron siyang uh, relate, uh, related siya sa social factors sa sa environment kung saan nakatira yung isang uh, person. So ang sagot dito ay letter D, psychogenic approach. Kaya nakakakomit ng uh, misbehavior. 39. Mr. and Mrs. Estrada deal with their children in the concept in a concept issue oriented manner engage in discussion and explanation with their children over rules and discipline okay ito yung mga uri ano uri ng pag uh, parenting so si Mr and Mrs Estrada daw ang ginagawa nila may rules sila pero din, uh, i mean meron meron silang rules pero uh, may care din sila kasi inexplain din nila kung ano yung tama at mali so isila ay isang uri ng Uh, uh, authoritative parents Authoritative parents yan Kasi yung authoritarian parents Puro lang sila uh, Demand ano, Wala silang care sa kanilang anak So puro rules Bawal lang ganyan, bawal lang ganto Pero wala silang uh, pa pakilam sa naramdaman ng kanilang anak Yung indulgent naman sa indulgent uh, walang rules walang mga demand pero mas caring sila kumbaga itong authoritative ito yung balance authoritative, authora, authoritative parents yun yung balance kasi meron siyang demands pero meron din siyang care yung authoritarian puro demands lang siya wala siyang care yung indulgent wala naman siyang demands pero uh, kumbaga itong indulgent wala siyang uh, wala siyang rules na binibigay. Kumbaga, okay lang maglaro. Okay lang na ganyan. Tapos sinaalagaan pa nila ng mabuti yung kanilang anak o may care sila. Yung indifferent naman, neither, uh, neither sa kanilang mga anak. So, wala silang pakialam. Totally. So, ang sagot dito ay letter A. Kasi, uh, binibigyan nila ng rules yung mga bata and then, in-explain nila. No? yung may explanation na binibigay over the rules and uh, discipline. So it is authoritative authoritative parents. 40. Joseph, son of serial killer, on a drinking spree celebration killed Clinton because of the let uh, of the latter provoked Joseph telling that he went swimming that is why he was absent in in the class. According to the types of criminal set by Lombroso, what type of criminal is Joseph? Siya ay isang uri ng letter C, criminaloid. <clears throat> ano sabi sa criminaloid? Yan yung mga person na nakakakomit ng crime due to 
less physical stamina or self control dahil siya isang anak ng uh, serial killer siguro uh, na nanihirit niya no yung pagiging uh, mabagsik <laughs> ng kanyang ama so meron siyang uh, wala siyang masyadong self control so isa siyang uri ng uh, criminaloid ano pseudo pseudo criminal naman yun naman sabi ni Lumbro sa yung mga nakakakumit ng crime um <clears throat> dahil sa self defense pseudo criminal yung mga activistic o yung mga, ay, hindi mga born criminal pala yun mga born criminal naman ay naman yung mayroong five or more uh, sign ng uh, activistic ano so mahaba ang braso malapad ang panga malapad ang ilong sa so mga ganun 41 It is one it is the inability to transfer new information from the short term store into the long term store. So ito daw ay ability to transfer new information from the short term to long term store halimbawa. May ginawa ako ngayon tapos hindi ko na maalala mamaya. So hindi ko ma hindi ko mai hindi ko mai store yung aking uh, memory ngayon sa para sa long term use ko. So kung nag-review ako kahapon <clears throat> hindi ko siya maalala ngayong exam so ito ay isang uri ng amnesia mayroon dalawa ng, dalawang uri ng amnesia yung retrograde and anterograde ang sagot dito ay anterograde pag ganyan kapag yung short term memories hindi mo ma-store sa long term para sa long term use ano? pag naman retrograde hindi mo maalala yung mga nagawa mo dati katulad ng, ba, ng bata ka hindi mo na maalala or nung halimbawa sabi na nating nabangga ka nagkaroon ka ng amnesia hindi mo maalala yung mga nakaraan mo so yun ay retrograde amnesia pag anterograde yung mga ginawa mo hindi mo na maalala later number 42 Johnny is so kind to his classmates at school but he treats his siblings so harsh at home what defense mechanism does portrays so ay, ito ay defense mechanism sa stress ano <clears throat> sa, sa frustration ito ba ay altruism attack compartment, compartmentalization o compensation ang sagot dito ay letter C compartmentalization ano nangyayari doon <clears throat> yung isang tao uh, kinukompartment niya o yung kanyang personality uh, yung personality niya sa ibang lugar ano? at sa kanyang sabi na natin sa kanyang mga siblings ay magkaiba kumbaga kung mapalakaibigan siya sa mga classmates niya yung sinasabi dito pero kapag ka naman sa bahay nila Uh, mahigpit siya sa kanya mga kapatid so yun ay compartmentalization ano naman yung ano yung compensation compensation sinasabi dyan yun ay isang uri ng defense mechanism na kapag ka hindi mo ma-achieve yung goal mo na stress kasi isang bagay i Kumbaga, i-compensate mo na lang, hindi mo na lang ay halimbawa, ganito uh, hindi ka marunong mag-basketball so, nasabi mo na lang sa sarili mo na okay lang na hindi ako marunong sa basketball kasi marunong naman ako mag-drawing so, yung example ng compensation kinocompensate mo yung uh, iba mong uh, skill okay, 43 Miss Bea hates Miss Julia but whenever she sees Miss Julia he greets her hello with a smile. So ito yung tinatawag nating reaction formation. So kapag ka mayroon kang hindi bagay na gusto o mayroon kang bagay na hindi gusto rather or mayroong uh, nag-trigger sa iyo ng stress nagkakaroon ka ng uh, reaction nagkakaroon ka ng reaction formation 
So in this case nga, ayaw niya kay Julia, dahil nga ayaw niya kay Julia, nagkaroon siya ng reaction formation. Yun yung uh, realization, dyan, ina-imagine mo yun yung idol, isa kang uh, So imagine mo yung idol mo na magaling mag, uh, magdala. So, baga hihiramin mo yung karakter niya o idealize mo yung sarili mo as siya para mas malagpasan mo yung uh, problema mo. Yung acting out naman, uh, ilalabas mo kung ano yung, ano yung stress mo. So, kung galit ka, galit ka, ilalabas mo. Isusuntok mo sa pader, isusuntok mo sa punching bag. Yan. Yung introjection naman, uh, ito yung, ito yung ano, internalize the idea or wish, uh, voices of other people. Halimbawa, nung bata ka sinasabihan ka ng tatay mo na bakla ang umiyak. So hanggang sa lumaki ka, kahit na gusto mong umiyak, um, hindi mo na magawa kasi sinasabi mo sa sarili mo na bakla lang ang umiyak. So yun, yun yung introduction. Concepts are assigned numerical value and research methods in the social science of which criminal justice is here had followed this basic philosophical tradition. So meron daw numerical value. So ito ay quantitative research. Quantitative research. Descriptive research. Dinescribe yung research, ano? Historical. Uh, Nandiyan yung uh, past, present, and future. What type of research is concerned with the acquisition of new knowledge for the sake of science or development of the field? So yan yung pure basic, uh, pure basic research. Yan yung concerned with the acquisition of new knowledge for the sake of science or for the development of the field. Pag naman sinabi natin applied research, yan naman yung ano, yung research na naghahanap ng solution ano, to the immediate problem of the society. So, nagkakanda ka ng research, nagkakanda ka kayo ng research para masolusyonan nyo yung isang uh, problema sa society. 46. What type of defense mechanism is manifested by Leo when he joined fraternity because of low self-esteem. Yun ay identification. Dahil nga uh, meron siyang ano, low self-esteem. Para patunayan niya sa sarili niya na ano, isa siyang uh, malakas na tao o <clears throat> or maangat sa tao si kunwari sasali siya sa uh, um, feel niya din sa sarili niya na siya ay isang uh, cool or maangat sa tao ganun okay projection kung ano yung sa yan ay kind of uh, defense mechanism kung saan halimbawa pinagalitan ka ng boss Ngayon, papagalitan mo naman yung uh, kapatid mo or yung uh, asawa mo sa bahay. Pinoproject mo ano? yung problema mo sa iba. Regression, nagbabalik ka sa uh, pagiging ano, child state, pagiging bata. So, sa regression, iniiyak mo ng todo yung uh, stress mo. Ngayon. Number 47. What is the statement which says that we have no crime if we have no criminal laws and that we could eliminate all crimes merely by abolishing all criminal laws. So, yan yung tinatawag nating logomacy. Logomacy. We have no crime if we have no criminal laws and that we could eliminate all crimes merely by abolishing all criminal laws. Logomacy. Uh, this question, naulit ito sa ating CD <coughs> Sabi nga dito kanina, sa mga hindi nakakinig, sabi ng question, A fire incident occurred at certain distance in a business establishment located in Quezon City. A fire station is immediately responded 
to the scene by deploying one of their fire trucks. What is the expected time arrival if the distance of accident is uh, 25 kilometers from the fire station and the fire truck is traveling at speed of 100 kilometers? So para makuha mo nga yung uh, time niyan, yung, kasi yan ay speed and distance. So kailangan alam mo yung formula na speed, distance, and is dt is dt so mag uh, guguhit ka ng letter t no? imaginary dito may yung s dito yung d and dito yung t kung gusto mong makuha yung time i-divide mo lang yung uh, distance sa speed so makukuha mo yung time kung gusto mong makuha yung distance kailangan mong is i i times uh, i times yung speed sa time. So in this case, kailangan natin makuha yung time. So ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin yung distance which is 100 km to 25 kilometers. I mean yung speed. I mean, sorry, i-divide natin yung uh, 25 kilometers sa 100 kilometers kasi ito yung speed per hour. So 100 km per hour divided by 25 I4 4 hours. Ano? 4 hours yung ating, uh, ating time. So, wala dito yung tanong. Wala dito yung sagot. Ibig sabihin, hindi hours ang hinahanap. Minutes. <clears throat> so, isang oras, mayroong 60 minutes. So, 4 hours yun. So, 4 divided by 60, ito yung letter B. 49. The view that crime is a function of decision making process of a unit. The view that the crime is a function of decision making process in which the in which the would be offender weighs the potential cost and benefits of illegal act. And that one, the crime daw is a function of decision making, which would uh, which the would be offender weights or tinitipang niya the potential cost and the benefits of illegal act. So yun ay tinatawag nating philosophic calculus. Philosophic calculus. And Jeremy Bentham. <clears throat> 50. He founded sociology and applied scientific methods in the study of society in which he passes through stage divided on the basis of how people try to understand it leading to the adapt or rational scientific understanding of the world. He called this positive stage and those who follow his writings were called positivist. So si ang, si, ang gumawa niya ni si August Cogte. Ang tawag dun sa theory niya ay positivist, uh, positivism. And ang tawag sa mga tagasunod niya dun or mga follower niya ay positivist. Tapos tayo sa sociology ako na tayo sa correctional administration inom lang ako tubig okay correctional administration last 50 question <clears throat> Number one question. Number one. How long is the tenure of the duty of the member of the Board of Pardons and Parole? So the, BP, the BPP, Board of Pardons and Parole. How long is the tenure of the duty of the member of Board of Pardons and Parole? It is letter C. Six years without prejudice to reappointment. So, pwede silang i-reappoint. Ano nga ba trabaho ng BPP? Sila ay... Wait lang. Ang, ang BPP ay established in compliance with the Act Number 4103 or yung tinatawag nating Indeterminate Sentence Law. Ang BPP ay pinamumunuan ng Secretary of the DOJ as Chairman. 
and six, me and six members consisting of the parole and probation administrator. Tapos iba pang ano, uh, members, ano? So, bali, pito sila. Tapos yung BPP, sila yung nag, ano, sila yung nag, uh, nag, nag approve ng application na parol and sila din yung nagre-recommend sa presidente kung sino ang pwedeng uh, uh, pag-applyin o pwedeng uh, pag, uh, grant i-grant ng executive clemencies so yan ang trabaho ng BPP Okay. Number two, what is the legal effect when the offender had been once on probation under the probation law? Ano magiging epekto nun? He is qualified for parole. He is still qualified to apply for probation. He may be granted another probation or he is disqualified to apply for probation. Letter D, he is disqualified to apply for probation kasi ang probation ay ginagrant lang only once ano isang basis lang yan sa buong buhay mo pwedeng gamitin o pwedeng ma uh, apply number 3 when when can a person who was charged of possession of drugs be placed on probation a first time offender second O B second time offender, C first time offender and less than twenty uh, less than twenty one years old, or D second time offender and less than twenty one years old. So ang sabi sa section seventy ng ninety one sixty five or ng RA ninety one sixty five sa yung yung saan natin sa drugs natin comprehensive law on drugs of dangerous drugs. Ang sabi don Maliban sa Section 5 or yung illegal drug trafficking ano tsaka drug pushing to the section uh, uh, in relation to Section 24 thereof ay pwedeng mag-apply ang mga first time offender na nakakumit ng uh, crime related to dangerous drugs. So maliban sa Section uh, 5 ng RA 9165 yung drug uh, pushing ano maliban sa kanila lahat ng mga nakakumit ng uh, <clears throat> crime related sa RA 9165 ay pwedeng mag-apply for probation so yun yung mga first time offender yun lang mga first time offender and less than 21 years old kapag ka yung bata ay less than uh, kapag ka yung nakakumit ng crime is less than 25 uh, 21 years old uh, automatic pwede silang mag probation so ang hahawak niyan so kung halimbawa minor yung nakakumit ang mangyayari yung may tinatawag kasi tayo na ano eh na child probation law yung ating PD 603 At saka may batas din tayo na RA 9162 na kapag ka bata, ano, kapag ka minor ang nakakumit ng crime. At napatunayan na nagkasala nga, nagkakaroon ng automatic suspension. Tapos i isa sa ilalim sa diversion yung bata sa diversion program. Pag edad ng 21, uh, titingin ulit yung kaso. At kapag ka napatunayan nga na nagkasala talaga siya at hindi siya nagbago, uh, automatic uh, isa sa ilalim siya sa probation so yun number 4 it is known as the only Roman place uh, it is it is known as the only Roman place of confinement which was built under the main sewer of Rome in 64 BC by Ancus Maritus 
ulit, it is known as the only Roman place of confinement which was built under the main sewer of Rome in 64 BC by Ancus Maritus. To buy Walnut Street Jail, Mamertime Prison, Bridewell or Bridewell Workhouse, or Dartmoor Prison. So the answer in this uh, question is letter B, Mamertime Prison. Yung Walnut Street Jail, uh, binuksan niyan sa Philadelphia. Uh, constructed dyan as first state prison ng Philadelphia. Yung Bridewell naman, first correctional institution yan in England. Uh, yung institution na yan ay uh, tinitirhan niya ng mga vagrants, homeless children, pity offenders, yung mga offenders na mga mabababa lang yung mga nakumit na crime, tsaka yung mga disorderly woman. Ano dyan sila? Uh, dinadala sa Bridewell Workhouse na yan. Kauna-unahan yan sa England. Yung workhouse na yan. First correctional institution sa England. Bridewell Workhouse. Five. What do you call the study of practice of systematic management concerning with the custody, treatment, and rehabilitation of criminals? So ito daw ay systematic management concerning the study, uh, the custody, treatment, and rehabilitation of criminal offenders. Mayroong rehabilitation. So ito ay correctional administration. Correction is a branch uh, of uh, criminal justice system. Ano? Correction is a branch of uh, criminal justice system concerned with the custody, supervision, and rehabilitation of offenders. Pero pag sinabing systematic management, concern nga yung custody and treatment and rehabilitation of criminal offenders, yun nating correctional administration. Yun yung management. Ano naman yung penology? Penology also known as penal science, study of punishment on Crime and Prison Management <clears throat> Ang penology ay division of uh, criminology mismo no? Nat Nagdidil siya sa prison management and treatment of the offender Number 6 When can a convicted offender apply for probation? A. Before the conviction of the offender B. After the conviction of uh, after the conviction but before the finality of judgment C. Anytime during trial or when or D. When the 15 days period after conviction lapsed So pinapayagang mag-apply ano, Binibigyan ng pagkakataong mag-apply for probation ng isang convicted offender Kapag ito letter B After conviction but therefore But before the finality of judgment So uh, within 15 days Binibigyan ng pagkakataon, mag-apply ng probation ng ating uh, convicted offender. <clears throat> Seven, these were abandoned or unusual worship that were converted to prison as means of relieving congestion of prisoners when transportation system was abandoned. So, in transportation system kasi, ang ginagawa nun, yung mga nahuling, uh, yung mga kriminal, ano, yung mga prisoner, pinapadala ng ibang uh, imbawa, yung England pinapadala, pinapadala ng England sa ibang bansa kung saan mayroon silang colony para doon pagtrabahuhin ng libre yung kanilang mga prisoner para doon din ikulong so yun yung sistema ng transportation yung mga prisoner sa England tinatransport sila sa ibang lugar sa ibang colony para doon sila pagtrabahuhin which is libre yun yun, ang, yun yung transportation system nung matapos yun na-abolish yun o inabandon yung ganong klase ng sistema yung mga sasakyang pandagat na-abandon ngayon ginamit naman nila yun as uh, as prisons ano tawag sa mga yun ay floating hells hell holes or hawks so all of the above 8 this person was closed primarily uh, I mean this prison was closed primarily because it was too costly an operation estimated where that repairs alone would run between uh, 4.5 and 5 million dollar in 1940 it had it had a per capital cost 
over twice of average of all federal institution. When it closed, it had 260 inmates. So, anong ano yan? Prison yan. Ito yung Alcatraz Prison o tinatawag din nating The Rock. Sabi dyan, ang Alcatraz Prison daw ay impenetrable prison. Wala daw mga katakas dyan. Pero, mayroong tatlo dyan o na nakatakas na may magandang kwento. Ano? Si Joseph, ang, yung Anglin Brothers at saka si William West. So, masasearch nyo yan. So, kung paano nila na, na, kung paano sila nakatakas o nakalabas sa Alcatraz Prison. Although, wala nakakapagsabi kung uh, totally nakatakas nga sila o naka Uh, namuhay na buhay nga sila sa pagdakas nila. Hmm. Yung Auburn Prison and uh, Pennsylvania Prison, ayan uh, ay ano, rival yan, yung prison na yan. Parehas, uh, yung sa Auburn Prison, yung sa Auburn Prison, uh, congregate system, ano, sa gabi, Uh, nasa isang uh, nasa mga cell sila iwahiwalay na cell tapos inaobserve nila yung silent doon walang iimik and then pag araw magtatrabaho sila on the other hand yung Pennsylvania prison araw at gabi nasa isang uh, cell uh, nasa different cell sila at hindi sila pinapayagan na magingay so inaobserve din yung uh, silent So, yung dalawang yan ay uh, rival, yung dalawang prison na yan. Panopticon, Panopticon prison, isa yung uh, disinyo ng prison no? na hindi natupad. Dinesign niya ni uh, Jeremy Bentham. So, isa yung pabilog, tapos mayroong tower sa gitna. Tapos, ang structure ng, ng prison, ang mga walls nila ay glass. para daw mas madaling ma-observe yung mga prisoner. Although hindi yan na nasagawa kasi nga masyadong uh, sophisticated at saka masyadong uh, expensive ang paggawa ng uh, panoptikan prison. Lalo't puro glass yun ay nung unang panahon. Hindi pa, na, ganun, hindi pa naman ganun kamura ang, ano, ang glass. 19. Ah, 9 pala, sorry. When is the parole and probation month and week celebrated to July 18 to 24 of every year what do you call the concept which describes both a wide range of diversified programs agencies and institutions and an equally broad, uh, broad range of philosophical goals ideals and theory about nature of human societies crime and criminal offenders so ito daw ay concept describes both wide range of diversified diversified programs agencies and institutions and equally broad range of philosophical goals ideals and correct uh, theory about natural human society criminal and uh, crime in the criminal offender ito ay correction mayroong diversified programs at saka broad range of philosophical Uh, goals, ideas and theory about the nature of human society, crime and criminal offender. 19. It is known as harsh code that provides the same punishment of both citizens and slaves as incorporates primitive concept vengeance or blood feuds. So anong code ito? Ito ay code of Draco. So walang pinipili yung batas na yan o yung code na yan. Kahit, ka, kahit ikaw ay mayaman or kahit ikaw ay alipin, pare, parehas o pantay-pantay ang <coughs> turing sa inyo kapag ka pinurasahan. <coughs> Excuse me. Law of retaliation, ito ay yung tinatawag nating an eye for an eye or yung sa Latin ay lex talionis. Kung ano yung ginawa mo, yun din ang dapat na parusa sa iyo. Kung pumutol ka ng kamay, kamay din ang puputulin sa iyo. Yun din ang parusa. Yung Burgundian Code, ito naman, depende sa estato ng buhay ang parusa. So, yung mayaman, no? tsaka yung middle class, tsaka yung mga slave, iba-iba yung parusa nila. Halimbawa, murder ang nakumit ng mayaman and murder din ang nakumit ng slave. Maaaring yung slave ay mamatay o maparusa na kamatayan, pero yung 
mayayaman ay hindi. Okay? Tapos Code of Hammurabi, sinasabi na pinaka matandang code sa history. Oldest uh, code prescribing savage punishment. 12. Is there uh, is there a need to apply for probation to avail its benefits? Ang sagot dito ay yes. It will not be granted except upon the application by the accused. So, kailangan mo mag-apply. Letter D. Kailangan ka nag apply ng uh, probation kapag ka ikaw ay convicted offender na within 15 days bago ang finality ng iyong judgment. So, mag apply ka sa court. Uh, titingnan ng uh, prosecutor yon within uh, within days. 3 days. Kung di ako nagkakamali. Then, ipapasa yun sa sa ating uh, parole and uh, probation investigator. Tapos pag-aaralan nila yun within uh, 60 days, yung, yung tinatawag natin post-sentence uh, investigation. And then ipapasa nila yun sa court. And then 15 days, within 15 days, yung court, uh, magbibigay sila ng uh, pasya kung ikaw ba ay pwedeng mag-apply for probation or hindi. <clears throat> 13. Who among the following are disqualified to apply for probation? Disqualification naman to. Those whose sentence is more than 6 years. Those who are not yet convicted. Those who were previously granted probation under uh, pre-D-968 or D, all of the above. Yan. Lahat ng yan ay disqualification. Yung, yung sentence mo ay more than 6 years, disqualified ka for, to apply for probation. Kapag ka ikaw ay hindi pa nakukonvict, hindi ka pa rin makakapag-apply ng probation. At kapag ka ikaw ay uh, nag-grant na dati ng probation o nakapag-apply na dati ng probation at naka, napasalalim na dati sa probation. So, all of the above. 14. This kind of physical torture involves cutting of sexual organ of offender. So, ito ay uri ng physical torture. So, dalawa lang yung pamimilihan mo dyan. Maiming o mutilation. Pero ang sagot dyan ay maiming. Although pareha sila ng uh, sinasabi, pareha sila ng meaning, ang maiming ay kind of physical torture. Ang mutilation ay intentional cutting of the part of the body. Pwedeng, uh, pwedeng uh, limbs or pwedeng sexual organ. Pero kapag, uh, sexual, uh, kapag uh, physical torture ay involves, yun ay maiming. 15. These are the community-based approaches that are essential in the information of the probationer. Ito daw yung uh, ito daw ay community community-based approach that are essential in the information of the probationer. Humanitarian, uh, retributive and managerial, humanitarian, restorative and innovative, humanitarian, restorative, and managerial, humanitarian, retributive, and uh, innovative. And the answer in this question is, letter C, humanitarian, restorative, and managerial. Anong ibig sabihin ng humanitarian? Sinasabi dito na, kung hindi ka naman pala, pwede, hindi ka naman pala kailangang ikulong sa institusyon, no? pwede ka naman palang ikulong sa, uh, dalhin sa community para doon lang i-serve yung sentence mo. Eh, bakit hindi? Ano? So, ang sinasabi ng humanitarian, no one should be subjected to custodial control unnecessarily. So, kung mababa lang naman yung parusa sa'yo, pwede ka naman pala sa community na lang, then sa community ka na lang uh, i-reform. Ano? Yung restorative naman, sinasabi dyan, yung measures na ginagawa ng ating uh, correction dapat ay tulungan yung offender to achieve uh, position in the community in which do not violate the law. So, kumbaga yung reformation or yung treatment um, matulungan yung ating offender no? 
na magkaroon ulit ng puwang sa community. So, so ayun yung sinasabi ng restorative. Kumbaga, nire-restore natin. Nire-restore natin yung tao no, sa community. And managerial, sa, ang, ang goal ng manager kapag nga naman sa labas ka nag-serve ng yung sentence, mas ano yun, mas less ano yun, mas less cost yun kaysa sa institution kasi magast- magastos pag sa institution. Unlike kapag ka nasa labas ka, kung maaari, pwede ka pang magtrabaho. No? And hindi ka pakain ng uh, institution. So yung mga basic needs mo, hindi pa hindi pa nila kailangang problemahin. So yun yung uh, community-based approaches that are essential in the reformation of the probation yung monetarian, restorative, and managerial. 16. How long will the parole and probation officer conduct post-sentence investigation if a person applies for probation? Meron silang 60 days, ano? 60 days para uh, mag-conduct ng investigation or pes- uh, post-sentence investigation. 17. It is considered it is considered as uh, justification of punishment where it should be provided by the state whose sanction is violated to afford the society of the individual opportunity of imposing upon offender suitable punishment as might be enforced. Offenders should be punished because they deserve it. It is considered justification or punishment where it should be provided by the state whose sanction is violated afford the society of the individual the opportunity of imposing upon offender the suitable punishment o kung ano yung nakararapat na parusa para sa nagawa niyang krimen ay ma-enforced. Yung offender should be punished because uh, deserve nila yon. Ito ay sabi sa retribution. <clears throat> ano naman yung ano? Yung expiation. Sa expiation, sinasabi sabi dyan na yung hindi lang isang tao ang makikinabang sa pagka para kapag kaparusa ng isang uh, ng offender so yun yung expiation group vengeance 18 if the probationer committed the crime while under probation what would be the possible consequence the court will order the serve uh, a the court will order the serving of the original sentence b the probationer will be arrested for violating the condition. C. He will be prosecuted for the new crime. Or D. Any of the above. So the answer in that question is letter D. Any of the above. Uh, yun, the court will order the serving of the original sentence. Kapag ka na, na violate mo yung uh, 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 condition ng probation. Pwede ka rin maristo dahil sa violation of other uh, Pwede ka rin maristo dahil sa ano, violating ng condition and he will be prosecuted for the new crime kung, kung kinakailangan mo siyang prosecute kung halimbawa nakapatay ka during probation mo uh, yun he will prosecute ka for the new crime so yung original na sentence mo deserve mo plus he will prosecute ka pa for the new crime crime Edward was convicted of rape that is punishable with an imprisonment of reclusion perpetua. Suppose that you are judge, would you grant him probation? Ang reclusion perpetua ay may punishment na 20 years and 1 day to 40 years. Para mag-grant ka ng probation, kailangan ang punishment mo ay hindi tataas ng 6 years. So, kung ikaw ang judge, uh, hindi mo siya bibigyan ng probation. So, no because reclusion uh, no because reclusion perpetua carries a minimum penalty of 20 years and 1 day. 20. What do you call the sending or putting away of the offender which was carried out either by prohibition against coming into a specified territory? To buy 
ostracism, banishment, exile, or all of the above. The answer is all of the above. So, lahat yung term yan ay pipertain dyan sa ating question. Once probation is granted, how many hours a probationer must present himself uh, to the probation officer? So, yan nga. Nag-grant na yung court ng uh, probation sa ating uh, convicted offender. Mayroon siyang 72 hours ano, para i-present na yung kanyang sarili sa ating uh, probation in uh, sa ating ano, probation officer. Yan, 72 hours. 22. Which of the following statements is correct? Probation may be granted whether the sentence imposes a term of imprisonment or a fine only. So it's correct. Probation may be granted only when the sentence imposed are uh, is a uh, imposes a term of imprisonment. An order granting or denying probation shall be appealable. Mali din. The filing of the application shall not be waiver of right of the appeal. So, ang sagot dito ay letter letter mm, B. Wait lang. Which of the following statement is correct? Probation may be granted whether the sentence imposes a term of imprisonment or a fine only. Probation may be granted only when the sentence imposes a term of imprisonment. C. An order granting the an order granting or denying probation shall be appealable. And D. The filing of application shall not be waiver for the right to appeal. So what's the answer? Letter Letter B. Probation may be granted only when the sentence imposes a term of imprisonment. So, pagka pala pala, ay hindi lang, hindi, hindi ka pwedeng uh, mag-under ng probation. <clears throat> style in prison. So, meron daw apat na concept ng lifestyle in prison na pwedeng adapt ng ating mga prisoner. What concept is referred to when the inmates as, uh, aspires to, uh, for leadership within the prison subculture position and power prison security? What concept is referred to when an inmate aspires for leadership within the prison subculture position and power prison security? Nasagot dyan ay gleaning or letter B. Mayroong apat. Yung apat na yun ay yung doing time, cleaning, jailing, at saka uh, disorganized criminal. So, yun yung pwede nilang uh, pwedeng i-adapt ng isang prisoner sa loob. Yung doing time, sabi doon, yung prisoner, uh, binuview lang niya yung, yung, yung prison term as a brief, inevitable uh, break in criminal profession or career. So, yung tinitingnan ng mga prisoner na yon na yung prison term o yung prison time ay break lamang sa kanilang profession. Kumbaga, bakasyon lamang yon And then, pagkatapos ng prison sentence, uh, babalik na sila sa uh, pagiging criminal. Yun yung sinasabi nating doing time. Yung tinitingnan, tinitingnan lang nila as uh, break yung ating prison. Yung pagka, pagkakulong nila. Yung gleaning naman, ayan yung example niyan. Yung concept niya na referred to when uh, referred when an inmate up uh, aspire for leadership within the prison subculture position and power prison security. So, well, other definition of gleaning kapag uh, yung prisoner natin tinik advantage niya yung prison programs ano to become uh, better. Uh, para maging mabuti sila, para mas maging uh, maging better version siya ng sarili niya. <clears throat> to improve their mind and uh, prospect for success after release. So, yun yung isang uh, definition ng gleaning. Bukod dyan sa sinasabi sa ating question.
yun namang jailing ganito naman yun yung yung the choice of uh, those who cut themselves ano kumbaga sa jailing yung isang prisoner uh, puputulin niya yung ugnayan niya sa labas sa mga kakilala niya sa mga kaibigan niya puputulin niya lahat ng ugnayan niya sa labas and then mag, uh, gagawa siya ng bagong buhay niya sa loob ng bilangguan yun yung tinatawag nating jailing at yung disorganized criminal naman yun naman yung mga prisoner na walang mapuntahan I mean um, hindi sila makapag-decide ng kanilang lifestyle kung ba sila ipupunta sa gleaning kung pupunta ba sila sa jailing or sa doing time so sila yung mga disorganized criminal so tandaan yung apat na concept ng lifestyle ng prison gleaning Auna, doing time, gleaning, jailing, and disorganized criminal. 24. If parole can be granted more than once, how about in case of probation? So, sinasabi natin na ha? it can be granted only once in a lifetime. So, letter A. A volunteer probation aid is a civilian of a good repute and integrity appointed by the Parole and Probation Administration to assist the parole and probation officer in investigation and supervision. And supervision. How much is the salary of the volunteer probation aid? 10,000? 8,000 or 5,000 monthly? Or no, sal no salary but with allowance? So the answer is letter D. No salary but with allowance. <clears throat> 26. After the probation has satisfactorily completed the probation period, what is the report that the parole and probation officer should submit to the court? Okay. So, ang kanilang report na sinasubmit sa court ay yung tinatawag nating termination report. Tapos pagka binigyan nila sa court yun, mag issue naman ng court ng order of final discharge ng ating probationer. 27. What do you call the correctional goal that is referred to when the offender is rendered physically unable to commit a crime in the future? What do you call the correctional goal that is referred to when the offender is rendered physically unable to commit a crime in the future. Retribution, treatment, deterrence, or incapacitation. The answer is incapacitation. Incapacitation. So, ini-incapacitate mo siya. So, pinipigilan mong makagawa pa ulit ng crime ang isang uh, hindi na siya makakapag-commit ng crime in the future kung siya ay nakakulungan. 28. When does punishment have deterrent effect? Kailan daw magkakaroon ng deterrent effect ang isang punishment? Punishment disgraces the offender before the public. Punishment serves an example to the public. Punishment reduces the capacity of individual to commit a crime. Punishment is serious compared with the nature of the offense. So yung apat na yan, mayroon niyang deterrent effect. Ano? Pero yung tatlo dyan ay specific deterrent to kumbaga sa tao lang na yun na, na gumawa ng krimen ang madedeter na gumawa na ulit ng krimen like for example itong punishment disgrace the offender before the public so dahil nagdi-disgrace na dinisgrace na siya natatakot na yung gumawa pa ng krimen letter C punishment reduces the capacity of individual to commit a crime and punishment is serious compared with the nature of the offense so nakakatakot nga naman yun sa uh, isang individual ang sagot dito ay punishment serves as an example to the public so yun yung general deterrence na tinatawag natin letter B 29 which of these laws authorizes the release of detainee who had undergone preventive imprisonment equivalent to the maximum imposable sentence for the offense he was charged ano yan PD 29 PD 968 PD, uh, BP 85 or Act 4103. The answer is BP 85. BP 85. Okay. 
yung ating PD29 yun yung amending da sa paragraph of section 1739 and 1740 ng revised administrative code so related din siya sa ating uh, correction 968 probation law uh, 4103 about sa indeterminate sentence law 30 Eric was convicted to suffer a penalty of 11 months imprisonment how long should be his how long should be his period of probation suppose when he was granted probation by the court so 11 months no not more than 6 years not more than 3 years 1 year in above or not more than 2 years so ang sagot dito ay not more than 2 years kapag ka ang penalty ang kapag ka ang penalty ay not more than 1 year ang probation na uh, ang probation on ay ang probation period na ay not more than 2 years kapag ka naman more than 1 year ang penalty ng imprisonment ang magiging probation niya ay um, more than 2 years but not more than 6 years ano hindi ta ta sa 6 years Kapag uh, ang penalty sa kanyang crime ay more than 1 year, ang probation period, not more than 6 years. Kapag ka naman hindi tataas ng isang taon ng uh, penalty sa kanyang uh, ano, imprisonment, uh, imprisonment sa kanyang crime, not more than 2 years. 31. Who has the power to grant, deny the application for parole? Board of Pardons and Parole, Chief Executives, Parole and Probation Administration, or Court. Answer in this question is letter A. Board of Pardons and Parole. Sila yung nag-grant o nag-deny ng application for parole and sila din yung nagre-recommend sa Presidente or sa Chief Executive kung sino ang pwedeng uh, bigyan ng Executive Clemency. 32. In one week, how many rest days in a week shall be given to an inmate being covered by work program. So sila ay mayroong isang araw na pahinga. One day. 33. What if the warden was the one who became the hostage in the hostage taking situation inside the jail? Who will take his position? Most senior officer, most intelligent jail officer, any jail guard who has the uh, who has the capability to negotiate or D a commissioned jail officer the answer is most senior officer 34 Mario has a sentence of six months he had already served the minimum of his sentence is he qualified to apply for parole now si Mario daw ay mayroong sentence na six months Yes, because his penalty is an indeterminate sentence. B. Yes, because his penalty is just light offense. C. No, because his penalty is not an indeterminate sentence. And D. No, because his penalty does not have maximum period of one year. <clears throat> and the answer in this question is letter D. So, kailangan para makapag-apply ka ng probation isa sa qualification yung iyong uh, penalty ay dapat lampas ng isang taon more than one year number 35 who should make an immediate preparation for the issuance of necessary anti-riot equipment and firearm in case riot and violent disturbance transpired inside the jail desk officer, armorer Warden or either A or B. <clears throat> the answer is either A or B. In case of mass jailbreak, all members of the custodial forces or force shall be immediately issued firearms and A use force to disable them and handcuff them afterwards. B assign to critical post to block the escape routes. C. Direct the inmates to enter their jail cell. 
and D. Shoot any inmates who will attempt to escape outside the jail compound. The answer in this quiz, uh, question is letter B. Assigned to critical post to block the escape routes. Number 37. After investigation, trial in the decision of the conviction of an, of an inmate who violated the department's rule and regulation, punishment will be imposed. The following are the disciplinary punishment that are authorized to impose except one. Discipli uh, cancellation of visiting privilege, reprimand, close confinement in a cell with uh, which shall not exceed seven days in a selected calendar month or D, temporary, uh, permanent, temporary or permanent cancellation of recreational privileges. So, sino ang nagpaparosa dito? Yung disciplinary board. Ano? Kapag kayong isang, ng isang inmates ay nakagawa ng uh, uh, kumbaga na-violate niya yung department rules and regulation. So, hindi dito kasama yung letter C. Close confinement and cell which shall not exceed 7 days in the selected calendar month. 38. Which of the following are the major goals of correction? Deterrence, punishment, incapacitation, treatment. B. Retribution, deterrence, incapacitation, rehabilitation. C. Punishment, confinement, retribution, and treatment. And D. Deterrence, retribution, punishment, and treatment. So, pansin niyo yung A, C, and D. May, mayroon silang punishment. <clears throat> so, hindi sila kasali. Ang sagot dito ay letter B. Retribution, deterrence, incapacitation, and rehabilitation. Yan ang, yan ang major goals ng correction. 39. What should be the action of the court in case probational, uh, probationer violated his or her probation conditions? So, ito ang magiging action ng court. Court releases the probationer to the community. Hindi. Court revokes probation of the probationer goes to prison. Hmm, pwede. Court orders the continuation of probation. Hmm. And D. Court directs probationer to reapply for probation. Hmm. So, the answer is letter B. Court revokes the probation and probationer goes to prison to serve their original sentence. 40. What is referred as to hustling inside prison? Doing assigned prison assignment, reporting illegal activities, selling illegal commodities, and briefing a prison guard. So, pag sinabing hustling, yun ay selling illegal commodities inside prison. 41. Doing assigned prison assignment, reporting illegal activities, selling illegal commodities, briefing a prison guard, anong tanong to? Outside travel, ano to? So medyo defective yung number 41 natin, ano? wala siyang question. So, doing assigned prison assignment, reporting illegal activities, sealing commodities and briefing, befriending a prison guard. Uh, medyo magulo. Outside travel for a cumulative duration of more than 30 days. Medyo magulo. Escape, na, escape natin yan. Hindi ko din alam ang tanong dyan. 42. Alvin is uh, Alvin is 17 years old when he was convicted for the crime of theft. Can he apply for probation under uh, 9168? So 9168 or PD 9168 is adult probation law. Si Alvin is a minor, so therefore hindi siya pwedeng mag-apply sa probation under uh, PD 968. <clears throat> No, because is letter D. No, because he is only 17 years old. May nag uh, 
uh, nagsalita, may nag-comment si Amikos. Sabi niya, ang sagot dito sa 41 ay letter D. A parolee may be authorized by the parole and probation officer to travel outside his operational jurisdiction for a period of more than 30 days. Wala kasi tayong tanong, brother, ano? Amikos, ano? Hindi talaga. Wala tayong tanong dyan. <clears throat> so, skip natin yan. Okay. Number 43. Which of the following Which of the following is one of the other factors considered in grant of conditional pardon? Which of the following is one of the other factors considered in grant in conditional pardon? Length of time spent in prison conduct shown, old age provided that he was not yet 60 years old at the time of his uh, commitment to prison and the discipline of the prisoner. Number 43, answer is letter C, old age provided that he was not yet 60 years old at the time of his commitment to prison. Ano nga ba, bakit nga ba may conditional pardon? Ano nga? Anong purpose ng conditional pardon? Kasi yung mga hindi mga ka... Kasi diba ang parole, ang parole kailangan indeterminate sentence. Ano, may minimum and may maximum sentence para makapag-grant ka ng... o para pwede ka mag-apply for parole. In conditional pardon, in a, kadalasan itong binibigay sa mga determinate sentence. Yung mga walang uh, indeterminate sentence. Kasi yung difference niya sa parol. Ano naman difference niya sa absolute pardon? Yung absolute pardon without consequence or without ano, condition na ibibigay ang president. Conditional pardon ay merong uh, condition. 44. How many hours per day shall be allocated to the inmates on their physical exercise in open air? So, mayroon silang 3 hours, 2 hours, 1 hour, or 30 minutes. Mayroon silang 1 hour for their physical exercise in the open day. 45. Okay, 45. Pardon is granted by the chief executive. Which among the following statements is true? It may be given before the prosecution of the offense. B. Extinguishes criminal liability of of the offender. So, ang tanong is, pardon is granted by the chief executive. Which of which of which among the following statement is true? It may be given before the prosecution. Hindi. Does not extinguish civil liability. Hindi. So, letter B. Extinguish criminal liability of the offender. Pag sinabi kasing absolute pardon, lahat ng, uh, lahat ng condition, ano? Pati civil uh, liability, civil oh, civil liability mawawala so letter B ngayon 46 what is the case where the supreme court laid down the doctrine that the absolute pardon removes all the uh, removes all that is left of the consequence is conviction and that is uh, absolute in so far it restores the pardoning to full civil and political rights ulitin natin what is the case where the Supreme Court laid down the doctrine that the absolute pardon removes all that is left of the consequences of conviction and that is absolute in so far it restores the pardoning full civil and political rights? So it is, anong, ano yan, anong case yan? Number 46, letter D. Cristobal versus 
Labrador. Forty-seven. It is the unit, or it is a unit of prison, or a section of the RDC or the, the reception diagnostic center, where the prisoner is given throughout physical, otoro, physical examination, including blood test, X-rays, and vaccination, and immunity. <clears throat> so, ang RDC natin, yung reception diagnostic center. Uh, yung mga prisoner, ano, yung mga bagong pasok, mananatili sila dyan for 60 days. Yung 5 days doon ay para sa quarantine unit. Yung ginagawa doon ay yung physical examination including blood test, x-rays, and vaccination. Sorry. Uh, okay, ano tara. So it is quarantine Unit letter A. Part 8. After release from the jail of or prison, when does the parolee present himself to the parole and probation officer? Okay, ulit. After release daw from the jail or prison, when does the parolee present himself to the parole and, and, administration, uh, and probation officer? Okay. Letter A, within 45 days from the issuance of release document. B, at least 3 weeks from the release. C, within 3 months from the release. Or, or D, at least 1 month from the release. The answer in this question is letter A. Within 45 days from the issuance of the release of documents, kailangan nilang i-present yung kanilang sarili sa parole and probation officer. If the outgoing or incoming mail has contraband or harmful information such as matter shall be registered as violation of regulation, where should it be brought for adjudication? Ito yung letter uh, D. Mapupunta yan sa disciplinary board. At ang, may, uh, ang head ng disciplinary board ay ang ating assistant warden. May nag-comment, hindi ko nabasa. Sir, paano kung naka-probation ka at gusto mong mag-apply work abroad? Paano ang process na? Or pwede ba yun? Hindi po pwede yan, ano? Sa probation, hindi pwede ang outside travel uh, country, ano? Pero sa parole, pwede yun. Sa parole, pwede, pero sa probation, hindi. 50. He was superintendent of the penal colony at North Pork Island in Australia in 1840 who introduced the mark system Sir Evelyn Robles Bryce Beon, si Manuel Montesimos, Alexander Maconochi or si Walter Crafton The answer is <clears throat> si Alexander Maconochi So siya ang father of parole ano? So si Bryce Inopen niya yung Borstal Institution. Today, yun yung best uh, reform institution for youth. Yan, inopen niya sa England. Si Manuel Montesimos naman, director siya ng prison ng Europe. Din, uh, dinibide niya yung prisoner ano, to company. Tapos naglagay siya ng PT officer. Kung baga, isang company, mayroong isang prisoner doon na mamamahala. Doon sa isa company na yun. Kumbaga sa atin ngayon na yung mason, uh, mayor, mayor, yan, mayor. Manuel Montesimos. <clears throat> si Walter Crafton, si Walter, Walter Crafton naman, siya ay director of Irish Prison. Introduced the progressive stage. Ano yung progressive stage ni, ano, ni Walter Crafton? Also, parang ano din yan eh, pero pinagmulan din ng parol yan eh. Pero nauna si Alex, Alexander Maconochi. Then si Walter Crafton, ginawa niya yung progressive stage. Kung saan, yung unang 9 months ng, ng prisoner, uh, dadalhin siya sa solitary confinements for 9 months. And then after ng 9 months, public work naman siya sa Spike Islands. <clears throat> And then, 
uh, hanggang sa maging hanggang isin siya sa uh, Lord or Smithfield yung pagka, pagka sinad na siya sa, sa Lord or Smithfield ibig sabihin nun uh, pre-prepare na siya for release <clears throat> and then kapag nasa release na siya uh, mayroon pa siyang bantay o mayroon pa siyang supervision na uh, mayroon pang supervisor na uh, nagsusupervise sa kanya sa labas mayroon pang magbabantay sa kanya sa labas so mayroon apat na stage ang progressive stage ni Walter Crafton una uh, solitary confinement for 9 months tapos after 9 months isesend siya sa uh, public work at Spikes Island tapos pag uh, ready na siyang i-release eh, dadarin siya sa Lord or Smithfield no, preparation na yun for release nila so wala doon uh, wala doon harang tapos uh, mayroon doon mga tukso mga tukso kumbaga susukatin yung kanilang uh, pagtitiis ano? and then finally i-release sila under supervision so yun yung parol ay yung ano yung progressive stage ni Walter Crafton. So yan guys. Nakapagod, ah, sakit sa likod. Natapos na natin ang 250 questions sa 5 areas na ah uh, 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 simula Leia hanggang uh, CA or Correctional Administration. Sabi ni Amicos, ini tips daw. konting tips na lang daw <clears throat> ay nga gaya nga ng sinasabi ko kanina kung magre-review kayo uh, habaan nyo yung oras ng pagre-review nyo lalo na kapag kapalapit na yung board exam so imbis na sa isang araw imbis na 8 hours ka lang mag-review kung gusto mong dagdagan mo naman kahit konti sabi natin mga 10 hours to 12 hours na pagre-review pagbabasa and also magsulat kayo kasi yung pagsusulat uh, nakaka, nakakatulong yan para maging ano maging maritain sa utak nyo yung mga nire-review nyo mga binabasa nyo ano pa ba ayun so ako kasi hindi ako magaling mag memorize ng mga personalities yan mga si, sina sir Evelyn Robles Bryce niyan, si Manuel Montesimos, Alexander Maconochi, Walter Crafton. Hindi ko sila ma-memorize talaga. So ang ginawa ko, sinulat ko lahat. Every area, every area, <clears throat> ah, magdi-designate ako ng papel, ano, ng yellow paper. Susulat ko lahat ng mga personalities na na-encounter ko sa review ko. Lahat ng, lahat ng anong yun, lahat ng mga personalities na yun. And then, ah, kada umaga, bago ako mag-review, sila muna yung babastahin ko. Pip, pip, ipip, 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 uh, sorry, ipip, personalize ko lang sila. Hindi ko sila, hindi ko, hindi ko na sila i-memorize. Kung baga, titingin lang, babasahin ko lang sila ng babasahin hanggat hindi pa nag-board exam. So, hanggang sa maritain ko sila sa utak ko sila. Lahat. <clears throat> Although, hindi mo naman sila matatandaan lahat, pero may ideya ko kung sino sila. Kasi mahina talaga ako sa memorization. Ganon din sa mga numbers, yung mga uh, public acts, mga republic Acts, mga presidential decrees at iba iba pang uh, batas natin so mayroon din yung designated yellow paper yung mga republic acts nakahiwala yan sa mga presidential decrees sa mga BP o EO may kanya kanya ano yan tapos may tabings nilalagyan ko ng tabings then tuwing umaga din uh, binabasa ko sila so yun yung naging ano ko naging paraan ko ng pagre-review ng mga personalities and uh, mga numbers kasi medyo nahirapan ako dyan and then kada area pala pag magre-review kayo uh, wag kayong palipat-lipat kung leya muna, leya lang muna so hanggat hindi nyo naubos yung reviewer nyo wag kayong lumipat ng ibang subject kahit na umay-umay na kayo kahit na parang isuka-suka nyo na yung paulit-ulit na tanong paulit-ulit na information na nababasa nyo basahin nyo lang, basahin nyo lang basahin and then pag naubos na yung reviewer nyo lipat kayo sa ibang uh, area pagkatapos ng Leia crim uh, criminalistic, pagkatapos ng criminalistic CDI and then pagkatapos ng CDI, socio and then CA, pagkatapos ng CA hindi pa tapos ng review, ano? 
babalik kayo sa liyam babalikan nyo ulit yun kasi hanggat may opportunity kayo na magbasa magbasa kayo kasi kapag ka board exam na uh, may tendency na malimutan nyo yung mga mga question ay ito pa tip pa pala sa ano pag during board, board exam na <clears throat> okay may tanong si Amikos wait sir ilang weeks sa one subject depende eh, ano kung gaano kahaba yung reviewer mo sa isang area kasi sa isang area madaming subject diba ano ba sa Leia so madaming subject doon so depende hanggat hindi mo na, kailangan kasi may compilation ka ng ano ng reviewer mo hanggat hindi na ubos yung reviewer mo ah, wag ka lilipat ayan lang ayun tip naman during board exam ang ginawa namin nun <clears throat> Sabi kasi nung proctor namin, nakala namin, hindi pwede magdala ng uh, review materials during exam. Kaya hindi ako nagdala nung first day. So ang haba ng oras na nasayang sa amin, hindi kami nakapag-review ka dahil wala kaming review materials. Buti na lang yung ibang, yung iba kong kabatch, mayroon silang review materials, so nakibasa na lang ako. So, ngayon pwede naman pala magdala ng review materials during exam. Ilalabas mo nga lang siya kapag break time. So yun yung tip ko, magdala kayo ng review materials para mabasa nyo, makapagbasa pa kayo during uh, board exam. Hindi naman sa hindi naman kayo may mental block nun, basta ano lang yung skin lang, basa-basa lang konti hanggat na nagpapatay kayo ng oras. Sa gabi, magbasa rin kayo pagkatapos ng exam or uh, before the exam, the first day exam, magbasa muna kayo bago kayo matulog. Of course, magbasa rin kayo. Then pagka gising nyo ng umaga, kumain kayo na madami. Ako, oh, kumain ako na madami nun. Itlog, uh, masustansyang pagkain. Kasi binibigyan ka naman ng, ano eh, binibigyan ka naman ng time para tumumi kung matay ka man sa, sa, ano, sa board exam. So yun lang yung problema mo. Pero kumain ka na madami para mas, uh, may stamina ka sa pag-exam. Ano? So yun, sa, yun, sa mga tip ko. Ano pa? Siguro yun na lang, basa, kasi preparation is the key, mahaba pa yung oras ninyo, uh, madami pa kayong mababasa. Kung kaming mga registered criminologist, mga limot na namin yung ibang uh, subject dahil hindi na kami nagbabasa kayo. Uh, dahil hindi pa kayo uh, nakakaranas ng board, hindi pa kayo nakakapag-board, mas tubihin yung kayo nyo. Kasi kakailanganin nyo yun during the uh, board exam. Mas mabuti na yung madaming bala kaysa sa, maubusan ka sa exam ano mas madami na yung mas marami kang information na nalalaman kaysa naman pagdating ng exam nga nga ka no yun yun lang yung gusto kong sabihin so ayun lang guys sana may natutunan kayo sa akin so mga uh, sa aking mga pinagsasabi sana mayroong uh, tumatak sa utak nyo ano kahit pa paano kahit pa paano ma-refresh yung uh, inyong review So hanggang doon lang ang mga aking kaibigan, Amisay. So salamat sa panonood. And please share and subscribe to the channel of na uh, Attorney JMF para naman dumami pa kayo ano, para makatulong din tayo. Share nyo, likes, support na rin sa channel ni Sir or ni Attorney. Uh, thank you very much. Salamat. Uh, see you next time.